thought it would be a good way to start by addressing some of the problems and concerns that I've heard people have when it comes to being on camera and making films and videos. Now here's a not very closely guarded secret. Nobody likes being on video when they first try it. Everyone is a little bit scared and if they say they're not then they're lying. The first time I ever performed live with my band I stared at my shoes for pretty much the whole thing. Now the reason I did that is because I just wasn't sure what I was doing and as you go on and on it gets easier and easier and it's the same with filming. Honestly if you weren't a little bit scared there'd be something wrong with you so that's a good thing. Focus on the fact that you've got a little bit of fear going on and use that to come across in your film. And here's another top tip for you. It doesn't have to be slick and polished every time, if at all. Whatever your style of filming is, whether it's bumbling along or whether it's just like being yourself on camera or whether you make mistakes and leave them in, it's totally up to you. And I can guarantee that there's a portion of people out there that will relate completely to whatever style it is you do. So don't be concerned that you can't do this blockbuster scenario. Not everyone can, not everyone wants to. But the fact is you're going to have a lot of tips and tricks from this course to show you how you can make a real good go of it. And that's all that you can hope for is your best go at it. And the only way to get better is to practice and practice. So don't worry if you're fearful of being on screen, it will soon disappear. Now another concern for some people is they don't look good on screen. They don't want to be on screen for whatever other reason, not necessarily that they're scared to be there. Now that's not a concern either because you could take the things you're about to learn on this course and go out and sell it as a service. There's lots of businesses and people out there that need to be on film. They need to make that authority in their market. And you could be the one filming them with the equipment that I'm going to show you and teaching them exactly how to act on screen to create those fans. So don't worry if you don't ever want to be on screen, this is still for you. So now that I've addressed those few main points when it comes to people not wanting to start this, let's crack on with the actual course.